everyone, this is Yasuka and it's time for Massage Monday. This week I'm going to show you one of my favorite back massage moves using a forearm with the receiver on the massage table. My clients love this move too. Stand by the receiver's head. Locate the edge of the shoulder blade. Using your forearm, glide up the shoulder and along the edge of the shoulder blade and come back. Use your weight in nice stance as you glide out. If the space between the spine and shoulder blade is narrow and your arm is much bigger, I do not recommend this technique as bone on bone hurts and you do not want to press on the spine or the shoulder blade with the bony part of your forearm. After several times of this, I then glide all the way to the lower back and massage the waist in a sewing motion. Again, if the space between the hip bone and the rib is narrow and your arm is bigger, I do not recommend this technique. When the elbow is on the lower back muscle, turn the arm so it's parallel to the spine. Glide up the back muscles next to the spine and out the shoulder. I tend to repeat on the shoulder because people have lots of tensions here. You can also use the other forearm to massage around the shoulder blade. Sometimes the back muscles are very tight and slippery. If that's the case, turn the arm so it's perpendicular to the back muscles for more stability. Be careful not to put too much pressure on the ribs. If necessary, cover and protect the spine with the other hand so you do not massage on the spine. I originally learned this technique in Lomi Lomi class, which is a traditional Hawaiian massage, which incorporates long continuous strokes, as you just saw. A forearm is a very useful massage tool. Use the bony hard part for more pressure, but turn the hand and use the softer side for less pressure. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back next week. Make it a great week.